In this video, I'm going to show you how you can access a property from a script on another object. So here's a very simple scene. I've got a series of objects uh, called light switch, and they're just light objects that have a script, very simple script attached that adds a Boolean called light switch to the script. And let me just go ahead and play through this scene. Uh, first time I play it, all the lights are switched off. If I switch, switch them all on, You'll notice that the lights turn on here, and maybe it's a little bit easier to see in this view. And this indicator light at the top turns green when the majority of lights are turned on. So I can turn them all off and maybe start turning them on one at a time. I have, it looks like six lights here, so I think I need to have at least three that are on before it turns green. And that's the basics of how it works. I'm not gonna code the script from scratch, but I will walk through my script to show you how it works. So let me just open up uh, Mono Develop here. And so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm defining this light switch .cs, uh, or rather this light switch class. And this is what is being attached to my light switch objects. So uh, the key thing here is to make the Boolean value public. And by doing so, it's gonna make it accessible to anything that looks for a component of type light switch. And uh, now let's take a look at the script and where it is. So uh, if I take a look here, switchboard has the switchboard script and each of these lights has that light switch script attached to it. And uh, in order to make it easier to update all of these, I made this a, a prefab. And so uh, these are all instances of that same prefab. So uh, basically what I wanna do is go through the scene and count up all of these light switch objects. And I'm indicating that something's a light switch by giving it this light switch tag. So I'm gonna get a list back of all of these right here. And then I wanna count up uh, how many of them are on. And if they're on, uh, my switchboard light here is gonna turn green. And if the majority of them are off, it's gonna turn red. So let's take a look at how that logic works in switchboard. So the first thing I'm doing is I've made a public string called light switch, and this just indicates the, uh, the name of the tag that I'm looking for. I'm creating an array for all of those possible light switch objects right here. And uh, this way I can just make a list of them at the start and then go from there. And then I've got uh, this light, which is just a quick access to the light component on this object. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm retrieving a list from all of the objects in my scene that have that tag named light switch. And then I'm grabbing the light component for this light for easy access. Then every frame, I'm counting the number of lights that are turned on. So I've got this count variable right here, count lights on. And then I go through every single object in my scene that has that light switch tag. And after I've done that, I retrieve the light switch script from it. So, and that's the key part right here is I now have access to a light switch top, which is just an instance of this light switch class. So I'm retrieving that component from each of my lights. And uh, I do that with light object dot get component and whatever this object was named, right? And get component and inside of the um, brackets here, I want to indicate the type of component that I'm searching for. And again, that needs to match the class definition right here, which should also match your class, or rather your class file name. Okay, so that is how you retrieve uh, the, the component or the other script. And then uh, I'm gonna retrieve the value of the light switch. So I've created a, a temporary bool called light on, and it's grabbing from my light switch script, the other script, it's grabbing the light switch property, which again is this public bool light switch. And if my light is turned on, I'm just going to increment the number of lights that are on. And then I'm calculating the number of lights based on the length of my array here. And after that, I'm calculating the percentage of my lights that are on. And if more lights are on than off, it's green. And if fewer lights are uh, on than off, I think that makes sense, uh, then it's red. And that's the basics of how this is working. So again, the key components here are you create a class and you attach that to the object. Make sure it's got a unique name. You don't want a name that's gonna uh, show up somewhere else in Unity. 
And then after you've done that, you define a variable of that type, uh, which we can see right here. It's the light switch type. And in order to retrieve it, I go to the object that it's attached to and I choose get component. It's again the same type here. And then in order to access that member variable, you just take that variable you've created, go dot the name of that thing, and you want to ensure that it is a public variable on the other side. And that is the basics of how this works.